It's Jaden from the Youngsters. We recently got a Tesla Model 3. In this video, we're going to show you what we did to mount a tablet on the rear seating area. Normally, that should be an easy thing to do, but with the Tesla, it's a little bit more complicated. This solution will also apply to the Tesla Model Y. All right, let's get started. Like I mentioned before, it's not easy with a Tesla because there isn't any room under the headrest to attach a normal rear seat tablet mount. After searching online and not finding a good option, we went to Thingiverse and found this. What's good about this mount is that it supports the Visa 75 standard. That means all we have to do is search online for any mount. It doesn't have to be the Tesla mount that fits on the Visa 75 measurement. So we put the model in here so we can 3D print it. It's gonna take eight hours. And eight hours later, here it is all done. Let's quickly assemble it. These little pieces need to be inserted a special way, so pay attention. We're all done, but we accidentally attached the top parts in the wrong direction. <coughs> And after a little bit of time, here it is in the right direction. I imagine by now you've had a grown up helping, but in case you haven't, for sure you should get a grown up now to do this. And don't forget to put this plastic part behind the seat. Next, we get a tablet holder on the Amazon that connects with the Visa 75 measurements. The problem with this one is that the part that keeps the tablet in place pushes against the power button on our tablet. So we have to be super careful. We'll keep looking for a better one or maybe find one we can 3D print. But for now, we went with this one. As you see, we ordered it and it arrived instantly. Just kidding. It took at least a day. Here's a quick box unwrap. The four holes in the middle connect to the existing mount that we 3D printed. These two knobs can be used to adjust to fit your tablet. And now to attach the 3D printed mount to the tablet holder. Here it is, all attached. Let's see it in the car. Before we get to the best part, take two seconds to like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these awesome videos. All right, all we have to do is attach the tablet. And there you go, all connected and awesome to have a tablet mount in the back seat. At my height, the angle the tablet is facing is fine. And the angle of the front seat also helps. For those of you that want to adjust the angle, then keep watching. On Thingiverse, we found a simple Visa 75 plate. Next, we found a friction hinge. Then, using SketchUp, we separated the hinges, made one of them taller so we have space to rotate it, Next, you guessed it, we 3D printed it. Since the items were large, we had to do it in two prints. They took about four hours each. Here it is, all 3D printed and assembled. Thingiver said to use rubber washers here, but we forgot to buy those at the hardware store, so we had to use thin metal washers, and those worked fine. 
As you can see, you can adjust the angles and it's pretty stiff, so that's good. And finally guys, it's all connected. Now time to see it in action. As you can see, you can adjust the angle up and down nicely. All right, guys, that's the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep making more awesome videos.